Alright, uh, today what we're going to be showing you is actually something um, pretty cool. Uh, it's going to be referring back to a video I made previously on a Windows 10 undetectable Trojan. Um, it can hack Windows 10 through 7. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to connect to that Trojan via uh, just your um, Android device. Therefore, hacking Windows 7 through 10 just with your uh, Android device. And you can use the same Trojan to connect to your um, Linux device as well. So uh, it definitely has its upsides. Um, and basically when it boils down to it, if they have Netcat on the system already, um, all you need is a batch script that executes the command. Now uh, the command I'm going to be using is this uh, first one here, the spawn windows server. Um, that's the command I used in making the, uh, Trojan. Um, if you want to see how to make the Trojan, uh, you just need to go back to my, uh, video. You'll see the title, uh, it says something Trojan, uh, hack Windows 10 or something like that. You'll, you'll, you'll know it when you see it. Um, so just go back to that video, see how to make the Trojan. Um, also, there's a video I made on uh, the bind and reverse uh, shells of Netcat, so you could uh, take a look at that to get a little bit more info about this. But um, basically, uh, I'm just going to show you how to uh, execute the command to send out the signal to connect to the server that the Trojan makes on the uh, target PC. So. Uh, we'll get to that. So, we're just going to go to Terminex. Um, and I'm going to uh, just briefly cut out to show you guys um, the Trojan starting up. So, here we're going to start the bind Trojan that we created in the video that we talked about previously. And you can see it run, you can see it enter the net, connect, net cat command, and then open the Facebook um, browser with Firefox. Um, and if you have cookies, this will uh, automatically log you in. Um, and hopefully, the case is that they just log into Facebook and browse, and you have plenty of time to hack. And now that the Trojans started up, um, you guys seen how it worked, how it, uh, the command shell or the command prompt opened up and then Firefox opened up and uh, hopefully it takes them to Firefox or uh, the Facebook and they do some browsing and you do what you need to do. Um, so, uh, the command that you need to know to send the signal out once you have your listener waiting is nc tac nv then if it's remote um and they have port forwarding on the windows device because remember for the bind shell it has to be port forwarding on the windows device and for the reverse shell it has to be port forwarding on the linux device so that's very important to remember and for this one, we're using the bind, the, the bind version of the um, Trojan. And I do talk about both of them on the uh, video. Um, if it was a remote, I'd be using a public IP address and then just using the port. But um, since we're doing it local, we're just going to do the internal IP address of the target PC. And then the port... Uh, that we chose when we made the Trojan, which was 1122, and we're going to hit enter. And as you can see, um, we have a Microsoft uh, Windows command prompt to uh, Windows 10. Now, um, in order to have Netcat on your uh, phone, um, mm -hmm. you need to uh, 
have nmap installed we have a video to how to do that but um it's just very easy all you have to do is hit pkg um install nmap and uh and that will load up and you hit y for yes and then you'll have netcat and you'll be able to do this and these commands will work um and if you need help on it just look at the video um but now you see that we can enter uh windows commands and uh move our way around the windows uh pc move to the c drive And of course you could get user information and and all that. Um network information. Uh I'm gonna leave some commands in the description. Um you can do uh A this will bring back ARP information hopefully does nope uh, that works on the Linux box um, the net stat tag A shows all connections on the computer you can do IP config see what else you know see where the um the gateway is and if you were hacking remotely you'd obviously um be getting information on a remote network um and you have full range of the target pc because uh the command prompt is powerful so brush up on your command prompt uh commands um you can do things like disable Windows Defender, uh, open up a uh, browser to um, a beef hooked website or the demo page. Um, I'm going to have a couple of these commands down in the bottom. Uh, you can see all of the, uh, the networks the computer's ever been on. Um, that's a uh, net. SH show or WLAN show profile and then um, if you uh, pick one of these and then hit net SH uh, WLAN show Profiles. And as you can see, um, where it says security key, where it says absent, that would actually show where, uh, or show their password if they had one. But you can see where it says authentication, um, it says open here. I'm looking down here in, uh, security settings. But, um, yeah, like you, like, you have a lot of power over the PC. You can do this remotely. Um, the Trojan makes it really easy to use. Um, and basically all it is is a batch script if um, Natcat is installed on the target PC. If not, um, I showed you how to package it up and send it out and social engineer it. And this is how you can connect to it with uh, using your Android and hack using your Android. Uh, Windows 7 through 10. So, Oh, and uh, a couple other things. You can get um, users credentials or set up a new user and um, since we have Metasploit on our device which I also have a video on if you 
need to learn how to, uh, we could do like PS exec type base attacks to, uh, attack Windows, uh, 10 and 8 and 7, and also, um, Eternal Blue to, uh, attack Windows 7. So, this could lead to interpreter shells, or, uh, getting into a system some type of way, or, um, uploading a file, or changing a file, um, you can even do things like DNS spoofing by changing a host file. So there's a couple ideas for you, um, like I said, brush up on your, um, command prompt commands, and, uh, the possibilities are endless. Uh, check the description, um, at the bottom for some commands, and some of the commands I showed you here in the video, and hope to see you in the next one.